The pronator teres is frequently involved in nerve compression conditions and should be addressed for these disorders. Pin and stretch techniques are an outstanding treatment method for these conditions. The pronator teres lies close to the common flexor tendon attachments. It's easy to palpate as it is just medial to the antecubital space on the anterior aspect of the elbow. The median nerve passes between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. For the pronator teres muscle, first locate the, lo the attachment sites of the pronator teres in the middle of the muscle belly. It goes from here across to the forearm like this. There is a space just on the front side of the elbow, and if you push your thumb in this direction across here, the first muscle you hit is pronator teres. So we'll put the pin on the pronator teres with the wrist in a pronated position. That's the shortened position. We pin the muscle and then stretch and elongate by turning the wrist into supination. Again, fully pronated position, the muscle is in a shortened position, pin it with the thumb, and stretch and elongate. If this particular technique causes any aggravation of neurological symptoms, then move to a different location so that you're not pressing on the median nerve. That is a possibility. Once again, shortened position, pin the muscle, especially on areas of tightness or restriction, and then turn it into supination, stretch and elongate. The pronator teres is frequently involved in many of our nerve compression disorders, and this is a highly effective way to help encourage tissue elongation in that muscle.